Good afternoon, people, and welcome back to Aston Dave. This is the third segment of the season so far. Uh, this is covering the 6-1 win against Crew Alexandra and, and how wrong I was in the last video. Um, so this is more of a sorry and um, I should never have doubted the Villa. But first off, a 6-1 win against Crew Alexandra. I said in the last video... The crew were not a side to be, um, you know, to underestimate. They were a strong side. They got good players, um, but obviously they just didn't want to turn up yesterday. Even though they're a league, league two team, do not take that away from them. A league two team or a league one championship side will always want to do a prem side. Um, but nevertheless, we did show premiership quality. We did show we could move the ball in very fluid fashion. The goals were very well taken, and Frederic Gilbert's goal was was a peach. It was just the fact he ran to get the short corner. You could see Connor calling for the ball, turned it onto his right foot, curled it into the corner. You couldn't ask for a better finish than that. Um, I think Greenish's finish was pretty good. The fact he just took a short back, uh, a short back, uh, you know, sort of back kick as such into just pelting it into the corner. Um, Keenan Davis did very well to get a goal, especially you know to get his first one of the season. Um, deserved a goal. I think Jota did play, Jota played really well as well. We're linking up pretty well with uh, Keenan Davis in uh, up front. Um, Connor Hurahan doing what he does best. I think Hurahan is brilliant. Um, I've always been a big fan of Connor Hurahan, um, and personally, I think he is going to be influential in us sort of creating more. Going forward, as such, you know, the times we haven't got um, the players such as John McGinn due to injury, if anything was to happen, um, or even Jota as well, I think, you know, he's, they've all got pure class to sort of go forward. But I predicted yesterday 1 0. Um, how wrong was I? It was 6 1. <sighs> I mean, geez, I, I wouldn't have thought we were going to win 6 1. I didn't think we'd win 3 0. Um, I was going to go for the sort of the, the hard approach from crew, um, bully the players, make us feel you know unwelcome, uh, make it a hostile environment. But it just wasn't to be. We sort of we turned it on. The players did what they do best, which is pass, move, shoot, score. Um, let's just hope we can take this into the weekend. We've got Palace away. Um, I'm expecting a hard game considering they got knocked out by Colchester United, which is a um, bit of a laughing stock really of Crystal Palace. But at the same time, as I said a second ago, you cannot underestimate a lower league team into wanting to outdo a Premiership side. Um, much credit to Colchester United. Um, you know they're not too far from where I am, um, so they deserve full credit for knocking out a Premier team. Um, unfortunately for Palace, this means they're in a bit of a lull. They're going to want to come back and get three points at the weekend. Let's just hope that we show the same quality as what we did uh, against Crewe and against Everton, against Palace away. I mean, Selhurst so Park is never an easy ground to go to. Um, it's always been one of the state. It's always been one of the teams I've never really enjoyed playing. The same as Southampton, really. They've always been a big bogey team. Um, I found, but again, next up, Crystal Palace away. Um, I'm probably gonna have a good think about this one um, purely because Roy Hodgson's got a good team there. Um, it depends if Wilfried Zaha actually turns up. If Ben Teke wants to play, they're the other than that, they're pretty bang average. Um, but then we all said that about Bournemouth, and then they beat us. Um, let's just hope Palace don't turn up. And let's just hope that we do turn up with you know all guns blazing, wanting to go forward and create as much as what we did against Everton and Crew. So I'm probably going to go stick my neck out in the line. I'm probably going to go for a one-one. Um, I think. An away game is always hard, um, especially at the moment. We're still really trying to find our feet in the Premier League. Um, even though we are, everyone says we are back where we belong. Well, if we belonged there years ago and then we got relegated, we didn't belong there then. So we now are back amongst the big boys. Um, some people might hate on me for saying that we're 
you know, weren't good enough to be in the Prem, hence we got relegated. And it does wind me up when people say we were too big to go down, we were too good. Obviously we weren't, because if we were too good and too big, we wouldn't have been relegated in the first place and we wouldn't be struggling, um, you know, financially as such with Tony Zhao. We wouldn't have had to scrim, you know, scrimp about um, as such after we didn't get promoted with um, Steve Bruce. Um, but now in Dean Smith, we have faith. The owners have got a switched on head. Um, we've bought cracking players, which are gelling really well, um, which you sh can see in the Everton game and the Crew Alexandra game. Uh, I'm just hoping that we can keep the momentum going. So, on that note, it's only a short video today, um, purely because I wasn't going to do one, but then I decided to do one. I was going to do it more towards the end of the week, but I thought, hey, what's the point? Um, just get it done now, um, whilst the thoughts are still fresh in my mind. Um, do, if you haven't already, uh, comment below. Subscribe below as well. Hit the notification button. I do try and get these uploaded as much as possible. Another shout out to Steve Games. Um, he has, uh, he's a friend of mine. Um, he does uh, online gaming, online streaming. Unfortunately, he's an Arsenal fan, so he doesn't really understand football. So if my Villa faithful friends can get online and teach him the ways of the Claret and Blue, um, then that'd be much appreciated. Uh, but apart from that, do comment, do subscribe, do like the video. If you've got comments, opinions, say below what do you want to talk about what questions you got what do what we want to say what what do you think Dean Smith should be doing what do you think the tactics should be um I give my opinion quite a bit on what Villa should be doing but now it's I think it's time for people to find a voice um and maybe get their point across because sometimes you can be bombarded by the media um and making you believe that what they say is right even though us football fans of our club love the club more than what a journalist does so comment below subscribe hit the notification button like the video um do go across to steve games he does play all kinds of games all through the week he's got quite a few volleyers and all that kind of stuff already so he is pretty good at what he does so uh, go across and give him a thumbs up and let him know that aston dave sent you there um purely because i have no idea how to do it on the video so Apart from that, peace, up the villa, and uh, hopefully they can prove me wrong on Saturday.